Hey, what's up guys? Aiden here. Today I'm bringing you Floyd Mayweather by AWN Jar, Awan Jar. He has made Manny Pacquiao, he has made Roy Nelson, and today we are bringing you the Floyd Mayweather created by the one and only Alwyn Jar. And I've got to say, this is one of the best Floyd Mayweathers I've seen on YouTube. I had a little look around today to see who else has tried, and to be honest, none of them come close to this level. So fantastic job, and thank you for sharing it with us, dude. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So let's go to the general info. Guys, just copy what you see on the screen to get the same results. Obviously, Floyd, you can put him at whatever weight class you want. I put him at lightweight so that I can do matches against Conor McGregor at lightweight as well. And um, for his stance, we have put, what is it, Henan Barrow, yeah. So Floyd Mayweather, and I'm giving him the Henan Barrow stance. Another option, which I know, uh, I've forgotten his name. What, <laughs> what was your name? Joshy, yeah, little Joshy from the channel. He likes to do Floyd with the Nate Diaz. So you get more of a one-two out of it. It's a bit different, but um, this time out, we're going for the Hen and Barawa stance. So yep, yeah, that is that bit. Walk out music, choose whatever you want. Social media handle, probably you can put Money Floyd or Pretty Boy Floyd. And uh, yeah, let's jump into the rest of it. So we are working off body number three and skin tone is tone nine. Now I don't really, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what he's done this. So I'm not really, really going to comment too much on the body types. Obviously you guys can do whatever you want if you want to, if you feel it should be like, you want to try a heavyweight Floyd against, uh, I don't know, maybe heavyweight Mike Tyson from the channel or whatever. You can do what you want because he's created such a good face that I think you can pretty much do anything with him. You can put hats on him, you can give him hair, do whatever you guys want. But what I'm going to do for now anyway is just stick to what I need to do here, which is go through the tutorial without without getting too excited and giving him like moustaches and stuff. Just get through it and then at the end maybe we'll have a little play around, try some different hairstyles, try chucking a beard on Floyd. So yeah, basically the facial hair we're using for this guys is all tattoos and the eyebrows are quite tattooed as well so make sure facial hair you choose is number one let's go into the eyes for the eyes we've gone for brown for the body we've done body but i'll show it again just so in case someone's watching this in sequence body number three and skin tone number nine tattoos we'll get into at the end and yeah alan jar's gone in on the tattoos man he's gone in for shading for the facial hair for the eyebrows so great job there man so um, apparently Logan Paul is going to be fighting Floyd Mayweather next year. Is it in February, I believe? So that's that's an interesting, but not totally unexpected development. We did kind of see, there were talks about doing something like that. So I mean, I don't know what what could have been more ballsy for Logan Paul rather than fighting someone a lot shorter than him. Obviously Mayweather is just going to dance laps around him. But if Logan Paul had actually fought Mike Tyson, could you have, that that would have been interesting. Because you know Logan, man, he would try and take Tyson's head off. And you know Tyson's just a veteran. And then, you know, I mean, Floyd, Floyd's going to just dance laps around Logan Paul, man. And if Floyd wants to knock out Logan Paul, he can do that, man. Like, do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, a flurry from Floyd is going gonna, is gonna to stop anyone, really, who's not, you know, not a professional boxer on the level of, of the level that he's on. I mean, look what he did to Conor McGregor. Even though it took him 10 rounds, and Conor, you know, Conor stood his ground in that. Floyd at the end of the day is Floyd, bro. So, you know what I mean? I don't know, Logan Paul's doing it for the money, Floyd's doing it for the money. So we'll see what happens with that fight. So those are the head sliders for this Floyd Mayweather. And now the tattoos are the most difficult part of this tutorial and I have spent about an hour trying to get them right. So what I might do actually is at the end of this video, I might clip on an extra um, clip that Alwan Jar has provided me for the tattoos just so you guys can see exactly how he's done it. Now, if you want to do it exactly the way that he's done it, then yeah, we'll do that. Skip to the end of the video and there's going to be there. And if you don't want to, like, if you want a bit more explanation as to how to do everything, then just keep watching and I'll talk you through what I've kind of understood from the tattoos and um, where to do the shading and stuff like that. So let's start off with number one. Numbering is slightly different in Alan Jars because I've done it in reverse order that he done it in. But what I did make sure was to make sure that the layers, so important thing here guys is the layering needs to be the same as what either you're doing for that one job it from the end or if you're copying what i'm doing now as i explain it so angels and demons number one guess where that's going the eyebrows and uh let me just zoom it up zoom it up so so the shape of it so i've kind of i've rotated it and gone down down using left so r2 l2 to rotate and then l1 and the right stick to bring it all the way down and then um, if you're worried about the size you can use the d-pad as well you need to make sure it's the smallest size you can get it 
because we want it to blend and then uh, let me have a look at exactly where it was yeah and it's just basically just clipping on the end of his eyebrows just to give it a slight slant to the uh, corners of it now depending on how you know how precise you want to be you could bring it in a bit more and tweak it this is kind of how how I managed to do it and like I said I've spent about an hour like non-stop looking at the screen pushing my face into the screen to try and get the tattoos right and it's so difficult man so uh, hats off to Alwyn Jarrah like the amount of effort he's put into doing the tattoos and all that stuff man it just shows like the guy's the guy's a craftsman so I'm gonna just show you what to do with that one so same again so what I've done there is created a copy by pressing uh, left free and then you just drag it across Flip it by pressing, which one is it? Triangle, no, square. Square, and then you're gonna have the little tail on this end as well. Like, you see how it gets a bit sharper on the end? So that, that's on that side. And again, make sure that these layers are the bottom ones. Next layer up, we are doing are the Irizumi, which is, as you can see, gonna connect the gap between the middle of the eyebrow and the corners. So let's zoom it up. And uh, what what shape should it be like normally? How have I? Yeah, so what have I done? I press square, then I press triangle, then R2, then L1 and down, L1 and left. Pull it all the way up. And then press down on the D-pad. When you press down on the D-pad, it should shrink and just fill in that gap there. And obviously, if you need to press L1 and try and like, if you need to stretch it a bit, then do so. But basically, that's just going to fill it in there like that. And then make a copy of that by pressing left stick in, L3, and uh, put one on the other side as well. And what you can do as well, if you feel like the eyebrows are too thick, then you can press left on the D-pad, and basically you can you can um, fade them in a bit more. If you feel like they need to be thicker, then press right on the D-pad. Mine are sort of midway in between. That's kind of how I've done it. Um, but I think Alan Jars, I think he's the same as well. I think that's how he did it. So looking at the next bit he's done for us, he has added um, shading, right? So let me just grab my shader here, drag it down. So these four blocks here are for shading and that is for around the eye area. So we've got shapes 100 is the first one. And basically, as you can see up here, it's kind of like a oblong. Is that an oblong? What's that called? And then bring it down to roughly around here and then hold left on the stick until you get it to kind of blend in and what that's going to do is going to create a bit of darkness around Mayweather's eyes and then similarly we're going to do the same on the other side as you can see what it does it just it just helps blend a bit more and then um, we got two of shapes 99 basically he's flipped them upside down so normally shapes 99 is like this press triangle to flip it upside down then drag it down into place and then hold left on the d-pad where did yeah so roughly around and basically it's just going to introduce a little bit of shade i think alwyn jar's version actually obviously this is his version but i mean he did the tattoo a tiny bit darker but on my screen i got a bit of a darker monitor so i'm i've done it a little bit a little bit less um, and what you can do is press left on the D-pad to change the opacity. If you feel like, obviously, you don't want to make it an 80s flipping <laughs> one of them ones, nice. But if you want to just, like, give it a little bit more shading, then just press right on the D-pad a little bit, and you'll get a little bit more out of it. Copy the same thing over to the other side, and then you're good to go. So then next up is the actual more difficult part, I would say. And uh, it's the facial hair, guys. The facial hair is absolutely difficult. So I suggest doing nine to 12 later on. So leave these till later. We'll go through it. Basically start with the first layers, which is the top layers. These layers are gonna sit on top and these are basically Irizumi number three he's used. And um, basically they're layered on top of each other and it just creates the entire goatee. So let's have a look. Shape looks like that. And then L1 and right stick to bring it down again. D-pad as well. Look, D-pad, if you press it up and down D-pad, you can get a little bit thinner. But depending on how thin or thick you want the facial hair, but I mean, that's that's quite good where I got it. But because the top bit is, 
The bit around the lips have to be thick because unfortunately the shape of the creative fighter face makes the um, tattoos distorted around the lips. So that's why it's a good idea to have the sides down there thick as well so it looks consistent. And make a copy of that Irizuma that you just placed on the right. And, um, well, I was going to say chuck it to the left, hang on. But no, my order is terrible. You can chuck it to the left, but anyway, we'll go to the next bit. So we've got a chin strap down here. Same Irizumi, but just rotated under the chin. We've got a... Let me just see if I can sort my ordering out. Nope. Okay. See, I'm trying to find the one that's on the left. One second, guys. Try and do this in a tidy order. Oh, okay. All right, I haven't got the resume on the left. So let me make it resume on the left. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we've got uh, one, two, three. So one is the chin strap. One is the one on the right. One is the chin strap. And then one was the one on the left. So 13, 14, 15 are done. So number 16 is I've chucked it up here. So these are the difficult bits, you see, because, right, shape's there, make it smaller, bring it down. But look, it's really hard to get the shape to get small. That's that's the fiddly bit. So what you can do is when it's still large, do it then. So basically have the tattoo large, shrink it down, shrink it down, sorry, uh, not shrink it, large tattoo, narrow tattoo, left on the D-pad to get it small, bring it up to here, and then just fiddle around with it until you get it precise as you can without it sort of bending too much. And that, that would take you like, I don't know, it took me about 10, 20 minutes to like get those get those bits right. So that that's the difficult bit of this tutorial is getting the, the lips right. But basically once you've got one of them down, then you can make a copy, press the left stick in, bring it over here. And then again, on the other side, Gonna have one there. And just rinse and repeat, filling out the top lips, all of the gaps, make sure they're all filled out nicely. And then if you wanna make it fade a bit more, just hold left on the D-pad, fade it all in a little bit more as well. If you think it's gonna look tidier. Next up we have Fug Angel Text 6. And um, let's have a look at that. Angel, so it's been rotated, left stick, L1 and down. And basically that layer is gonna sit on top of the facial hair. And I think what it does is it gives it a little bit of like grit to it. So it doesn't look like just a black strip. It like, it blends like, it makes it look a bit, little gaps inside it and stuff because of the text. Do the same on the other side. And then again, up here by the mouth. Basically, we're just covering wherever there's facial hair, just going over it and covering it. You know what? I, just, I could tidy that a little bit. Hang on. Yeah, this is, I say this is the part of the tattoos in this game, bro. That's like where you can go proper OCD. But I think I'm just leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. It looks good. It looks good. And then, um, fuck Angel. Because I know if I start doing it, I'm going to mess it up and spend half an hour trying to fix it. All right, let's uh, get that smaller. And I flipped upside down so it's not readable. Chucked it there. And that's a wrap for Floyd. So what I'll do is, I'll, at the end of this video, I'll include a clip from Alwyn Jar showing how he done the tattoos. And again, if you need more information, then just drop a comment below and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy to answer. So let's have a look at Floyd with some different body types. So you got uh, Burgerman Floyd. You got Daniel Cormier Floyd. You got, I don't know what that is, Floyd. So probably, if he was heavyweight, maybe this body type, body 20, the Mike Tyson body type, Floyd. But yeah, I think it's, it's all right. And then last bit, let's have a look at anything we can add to him, any beanies or anything. See, that's when you know it's a good creative fighter, man. You can put a hat on him and it still looks exactly like the guy. Super same Floyd. Anime black, anime white. King Floyd. King or is it Queen? And then uh, these new beanies they got, aviators. If you want to add one of these chains, add one of them chains. You've got a Rampage Jackson chain. In terms of boxing gear, like for Floyd, I don't know, there wasn't the colours that kind of he wears, so 
I've just gone with what Alan Jar went with, which was just the black. And then instead of he had black gloves, I've done it with red gloves. I thought that looks alright. And then emotes. Anything new here? I think they've got some new ones, but. Floyd Mayweather. I don't know. What's what's the emote for Floyd? How would he taunt? I don't even know, man. It's a good question. I think they got some new ones. Wow, they got loads of these, didn't they? Maybe confident? Let's see what confident looks like. Nah, that's more like uh, Conor McGregor. No, not that one either. Bring it. That's a WWE Floyd. <laughs> Let me see, gun show, low blow, make it rain. I don't know these off the top of my head, so. Signature, Diaz, McGregor, McGregor. Romero, maybe, no, he's gonna be jumping, isn't he? What about Shogun Hua? Nah, that's like younger Floyd, maybe. Six shooter, pow, done. All right, cool. Yeah, so thanks again to Elwin Jar for providing this Floyd Mayweather. And like I said, man, this is the best one I've seen on YouTube. So, wow, dude, great job. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the content, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you've got more suggestions for Elwin Jar to make, then drop them below. Like, I suggest if you're going to ask him for something, ask him for something that's like a big profile one. Because whatever he does make, I don't know if he takes requests, but whenever he makes them, he's probably one of the best at it. So you're going to get like a really, really good one. Um, so let's see what happens in the future. Like I said, we've got an Undertaker one on the way. And then I've got my own creative fires coming as well as usual. So if you enjoyed the content, guys, thanks for checking it out. We're nearly at 400 subscribers. We're probably there. I don't know what how long this video will be around for. Probably years. So maybe we'll be at more than that by then. But anyway, whatever. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm Aiden. I'm out of here.